Hey campers, George here. Sitting back out in the South 40. <laughs> looking at my land. Playing land baron. What can I say? It's Sunday, relaxing day. Yesterday I spent the, the day moving all my stuff in. Had a little bit more than I thought I did. And uh, first thing I noticed, storage space. Not a lot. So I have to figure that out, and that brings me to the next thing. Planning. Planning what I need to do, and I have a lot to do. The, the cottage is fine, the grounds are fine, everything works, great. Had my first sleep in last night, Ooh, it was quiet. It's going to take getting used to, I'm used to bustling. But it was nice and quiet, really enjoyed it, had a good sleep, got up this morning and uh, took a quick drive to, I believe, is going to be my new favorite place. George is going to be spending a lot of money there, but don't tell anybody. I'm on a budget. I've been setting my priorities uh, down. Things that I need to get done right now. Winter is coming. I'm in Minnesota. And that means snow. A lot of snow um, so <clears throat> one thing I do need is a shed and I think that's my number one priority right now so went online looked around got some ideas looked at plans um, went over to Travis my buddy talked to him about it because he's been here forever and he knows the know from Minnesota and he said to me if you're gonna put a shed in make sure it's wood don't do the steel stuff because the Minnesota weather is brutal on that stuff. So he said they don't last. Go with wood, good solid construction, and you can't go wrong. So I'm at Lowe's here. Travis and I were here yesterday looking at uh, sheds. And I've decided on this guy. And it is the Heartland Rainier. It's a 10 by 10 wood shed. I wanted wood. I didn't want this stuff. It's too windy. The weather is very hard on this stuff in Minnesota. So I decided to go with this. One of the reasons is... It has attic space up top here where I'm going to be able to store stuff on a shelf. Big enough for me to put goodies I'm going to need for the, the yard. So that's the plan there. But I'm back here because I need to get some stuff. So let's go spend a little bit of my budget. So there, that's my number one priority. I got to get a shed in. Uh, a couple of reasons. I need some storage space and I need to be able to put all my gardening stuff and uh, some other stuff in there that's not going to fit obviously in the cottage. Fortunately uh, I was given a ride-on mower. It's a Husqvarna, a couple of years old, hasn't been used for about a year and a half. They no longer needed it. They have a bigger piece of property and they bought a tractor and they just said it's sitting there. You're welcome to it. And they brought it over yesterday. So we looked at it. Needs a new battery. Needs to be cleaned up, serviced. And that probably the best bet is to take it down to Ace Hardware, who is the Husqvarna dealership here in Febo. And let them have a look at it. Get the battery replaced. Have them check it out and get it running. Um, I just needed running. I'm going to have to mow a couple of times before winter sets in. There's no way I can do this with a push mower. That'll be a fun thing to do. So I'm waiting to hear from Ace. Once they got it set for me, I'm going to bring it back and do me some mowing on the South 40. <laughs> got a little story to tell you. I am from what is now called Zimbabwe in Africa. And I moved over here 
uh, years ago <laughs> and spent the majority of that time in California and owned a couple of homes there. So the first thing I did when I got here, I was like, well, I need to check out the irrigation. 20 minutes later, I was like, wait a minute, I'm in Minnesota. They don't do irrigation here. They don't need it. They have natural irrigation here all year. If you live and learn. What can I tell you? I'm new to Minnesota. I'm learning. So the main priority will be getting the shed in. Once winter settles in, it's not a problem because the rest of my priorities are inside. A lot of work to do there. There's nothing wrong with the cottage. I just want to make it mine. And some do-it-yourself projects I'll be doing. That'll keep me busy when I'm not out to uh, walk about. And I did meet the neighbor's son today and his wife and their little one. They're over next door. Um, being neighborly, it's pretty good for George. So my priority is to get the shed in. And then once I've done that, start working on the inside. Uh, my main concerns right now are the kitchen. I need to add a couple of things to the kitchen. I, I really like the kitchen the way it is right now. See, here is the kitchen. And obviously I want to have the bench style and table here, the bench, table, two chairs in this corner here. And then looking down, this is all set for me. Um, it was already here. And you have the stainless steel tops, have a little bit of storage down here and on the side. And do you have this wall, which I'm not sure I want to add anything to it. Maybe put a picture up there, something like that. And then the, the real kitchen area here, my pots, pans and stuff like that all hanging here storage and then under the sink storage the stove hanging the pots and pans right up here in front of the stove well above the stove that is the only real plan i have right now i'm sure more will come in so there you go i really like the stainless steel setup i like uh, the way it's laid out just need a little bit more space and maybe do something with the cupboards or we'll put some sliding drawers in that sort of thing and put it right now I just have everything put away roughly where I want them to be uh, the living room area is going to be my biggest project um, I have to obviously finish the whole thing because I don't have anything less is more that's my philosophy and it ain't working right now so the plan is uh, to get the kitchen sorted out and then downstairs, which is going to be basically my man cave. I'll have my computer down there. I'll have all my stuff down there where I do my camping and my videos and that sort of thing. So I'm still deciding how I want to do that. And then there's the bedroom. And that is where I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm not really stuck. I know what I want to do. I just don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Um, doesn't give me a lot of room, but really for me a bedroom is where I go to sleep I don't do anything else in there. My clothes are in there and that's about it Make it look a little bit more finished So that's the way it is right now. Those are my priorities. There's going to be a lot of little things I want to change But that's those are things I can do anytime So hopefully I can uh, bring you along with me when I make any changes or do any stuff. I'm gonna uh, um, record it for you and try and make it as uh, interesting as possible pretty exciting Woo! the priorities list get that taken care of and then i can relax a little bit and, and slowly do what i want to do so i'm excited i'm happy look see happy face the fun begins land ownership Whoop. so there you have it the south 40 outside is the priority winter is coming got to get this taken care of before winter so the shed goes there stay tuned on that one it's going to be interesting latest update budgeting making priorities big deal got to get it right on my budget don't forget like share Subscribe.
you know the story and I'm pretty sure I'll be back with some more stuff for you to check out with me don't forget the comments thanks for watching